already went to the gym, took a shower, had lunch, and as you can see, I'm kind of just in my at home loungewear attire. So it's about time that I get ready for the day. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Pumi for sponsoring today's video. Y'all already know that when they first reached out to me, your girl did her research, I checked ahead of time. And the best thing is that they are available over on Amazon. And so many people were saying that these were like exact dupes for skims. So I was really excited to kind of test these out. I think I have like six different bodysuits here. I'm gonna throw on some pants and just kind of run through them one by one and show you guys what they look like. All right, so first up, we have this bright aqua blue bodysuit. It feels so stretchy and smooth. It kind of reminds me of like a second skin material, but as you guys can probably see, I'm not wearing a bra and it's not see-through at all. Next up, we have more of this square neckline tank top. Now don't be fooled, this is also a bodysuit so it's very slimming but look at this i love the shape of like a square-ish neckline perfect in time for summer because i'm already sweating <laughs> now if y'all are pink bright pink lovers and this one is gonna be for you again we have more of this square somewhat rounded neckline these also have a really nice low exposed back for the summertime they also have bodysuits available all the way from extra extra small to four and five extra large so the options are there they're very size inclusive for all of the people in my fiber fam y'all i think i might have found my favorite bodysuit. We have this kind of rounded neckline and a high back. I think this is definitely my favorite one by far. I might have to wear this one throughout today just because it feels so good on. Right off the bat, favorite one. I don't think y'all are ready for this jelly. And I decided to pair it just with a different bottoms. As you can see, I've got kind of like a maxi skirt going on here. So they're super, super versatile. And honestly, for the price point of these, you're getting name brand quality for like half of the price. Do we see this? This might also be another favorite. I mean, look at her cap sleeves, not too tight. Pumi got me feeling myself today. I love this. And then finally, the very last option that I have is another square-ish neckline in this really deep kind of plummy amethyst purple. I'm gonna be wearing these throughout the week, try to pair them with different outfits. And y'all know I work from home most days, but this is gonna make me feel so much more just fashionista, but comfortable at the same time. Thank you again, Pumi, for sending all of these different color options my way. If you guys would like to shop Pumi, they are available over on Amazon. I'm gonna have links to everything down below in the description if you guys are interested in looking like this. <laughs> Back to work we go. In other news, I just launched my new spring fiber collection. So it is up and available on the website. I'm so freaking happy with the yarn that I made. I tried really hard to make all of the colorways very spring and summery, but kind of light and ethereal and romantic in their coloring. So they are available on the shop. And for a limited time, I will have free shipping for all US orders placed over $150. So if you guys wanna buy some bulk hand-dyed yarn, now's your time. Today has been a long, stressful, hectic day, but I'm ready to kind of wind down, get ready for nighttime. I have been attending quite a few whatnot live streams. If you guys didn't know, I've been just kind of using and being like a viewer, a watcher on the whatnot app and just bidding on a ton of secondhand yarn. And this is probably like my third order in three weeks. So I'm gonna unbox some new fibers that I got at a super discounted price. If you guys would like to use Whatnot and purchase your own secondhand fiber or even brand new yarns, I will have a link down below as well. New users do get a $15 free credit on the app. So you guys could essentially get a ball or a few balls for free 
free yarn. The yarns that I bid on and that I won, it looks so much better in person. Look at these fibers that I just got my hands on. So this first one, this is Ella Ray's Rustic Silk. This is what she be looking like. And this is what the fiber looks like up close. When I saw it on the auction, I knew I had to bid on this and make it mine. It's a really gorgeous kind of like subtle tonal coloring, but there's actually like a lot going on there. Again, this is also the Ella Ray Rustic Silk. Yeah, it's just 100% silk fiber, which is crazy. This is 100% silk, but y'all look at this colorway, I'm dying. It's kind of reminding me of like my kaleidoscope hand dyed yarn, but look at this pure freaking silk. Oh my gosh. I think I got each of these hanks at like 11 or $12. I mean, look at this guys, 100% silk, that speckled technique. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm also really excited because I finally finished up a new tutorial. I still have to edit the whole thing, but if you guys have been following me over on Instagram, then you probably saw me put this on my stories. I finally got around to filming a crochet raglan or top-down cardigan. So this is what she came out looking like. And I feel like the best part is that I used all of my own handmade products to film and make this tutorial. So if you guys have been longtime subscribers, then you probably recognize this yarn. This is my garden party in fingering paired with my Buddha in mohair, my lace weight mohair. And I actually got to film the entire tutorial and I finished it up and I still had leftover yarn. I used one hank of each, which is kind of I have no words for it, it's kind of impressive. If you guys wanted to recreate this cardigan for yourself, you literally only need to purchase one hank in each, and then you have a complete wearable item. I'm just trying to take advantage of my creativity while I have it, instead of pushing everything off until I'm swamped and that I'm not in the mood to film. You guys probably understand what I'm talking about, so I need to just stay on the creative grind knock out a bunch of projects and then kind of like bulk edit everything later on. I don't know. I think I'm gonna wind down though for the night. I'll see you guys in the morning. guys I have the next little fit of the day I decided to wear another one of these kind of square rounded neck bodysuits with the high back I absolutely love this it honestly feels like a microfiber type of material but I don't have to wear a bra with this so I'm just pairing it with some straight leg jeans and because it's super overcast and windy and chilly today I'm gonna pair it with something that I haven't pulled out of my closet in a handful of months. So this is just my little crochet poncho. Look at this, off shoulder, super, super cute, but you have that base under there. So I actually have to get going, head out of the house right now. I need to ship out all of these orders from my whatnot live stream. I think I have like 15 packages or so. And then I'm also gonna head on over back to the hands-on knitting center in Redlands. I have been talking with them over the last few weeks and I would really like to get some of my yarn up in their shop. So I'm just gonna bring by a little baggie of some of my most recent hand-dyed yarns, showcase it to them, and hopefully, fingers crossed, 
they'll be able to set up like a little booth for me and I can get some of these in person for you guys to check out. So I'll bring you guys along with me, update you as I go, but I'm just bringing some of my kaleidoscope boucle. I have a ton of my new bases that I just dyed up with the cotton DK, also the sport weight nylon superwash blend. Look at these colors. We got a busy day on the road. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Day, a new Pumi outfit. Actually, <laughs> I'm really just kind of in at home attire. This is what cozy everyday work from home fits look like for me. But I'm really excited because I get to dye up some new yarn today. I had an order placed for some mystery yarn. And this is like my favorite time to get really creative with colors and just kind of like let loose, dye whatever I feel like, and then Whoever gets the order gets like a super fun surprise because this new yarn is like unreleased it's brand new to them so if you guys are interested in getting some like super fun one of a kind or unreleased colorways then you can place an order for some mystery yarn and we can dye up something really fun together as you can see i have the whole get up i want to go like rich rich color we shall begin the dye Today is a fun day because I'm back to crafting. Your girl's making a new tutorial. So I have like the little setup. I'm actually currently using the camera that I'm gonna film on, but I've just kind of been trying to build up this piece. I've already started the tutorial and now I'm just kind of at the point where I need to get to the next step. So here I am. It's gonna be like this band that goes all the way across the chest. And then after that's done, I'm going to extend it and make it a little bit flowy and billowy. We're gonna add in some fun stitches. So I actually just picked up this brand new fiber. This is the Loops and Threads Heather Tweed, Heathered Tweed. And I'm still kind of gathering my thoughts on it, but at first glance, it's a super interesting fiber. It kind of gives it like a faux mohair look. And I am using the moss stitch pattern. So this is what it's gonna look like. I do wanna add like a little bit of ruching, ruching, ruching in the front. And then once the main portion of the top is complete, I'm gonna add in a really fun kind of see-through layer of flowy mohair. So I'm gonna be using some of this Hobie Sweet Tweed and just kind of crochet on top of the top if you guys kind of catch my drift. Of course, we have Dutch Bros Coffee. I don't plan on finishing this, but I do need to chug a good amount of this. And of course, I got the Netflix going on right now. 
the joys of working from home. I can just kind of put on some comfy clothes. I also really like that with these bodysuits, it makes me look a little bit more put together, even on days when I'm just at home wearing sweats, but at least for filming purposes, I look put together kind of and like ready for the day. But at any moment I could just take a nap. Before I go back into my room to finish crocheting, I thought I would show you guys a new colorway. This is a mystery yarn order that I just dyed a few days ago. And this is really just shooting from the hip. Since I noticed that a ton of my colorways are very like springy and pastel, I thought I would kind of just branch out a little bit and dye some colors that were very, very rich and deep and vibrant. So we have this really, really rich and deep, vibrant kind of like plummy current color, a little bit lighter blues in here, some teal, but then we have this really gorgeous, look at that, and warm toned like pinkishy color, kind of like burgundy, and then just a little bit of like lemony lime sprinkled throughout. So this was dyed, I believe, a worsted weight fiber, 100% superwash. Here's the other hank of this bad boy. So I'm gonna be adding this to the website as well in every single base that I have available. So if you guys wanna check this one out as well, shop this for spring, summer, fall, winter, freaking whenever. I feel like this colorful, crazy yarn is just like to die for. I definitely need to dye myself some of this. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys some of the new colorways and things I've been working on.